Today I'm going to work on a, a 25 year old boat and see if I can make this shifter shift a little better. It's pretty stiff to shift. So if you have an old boat and you want to try to free up the shifter before you replace cables, you can try this uh, cable lubricator. I was going to try this uh, Cable Life product here, but I don't think it's really made for these boat cables because uh, this part of the boat cable is too big for this connector. So this is more for uh, like bikes, motorcycles, stuff like that. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is how I do it with a funnel on the cable and then fill up the funnel with uh, fluid and then push the fluid through the cable using a, a um, Ziploc bag. It works pretty well. On my boat it's easier to remove this panel, side panel here. Just had four nuts on these bolts and then two more bolts down there. Uh, it's easier access to get to these cables. This is the back side of my shifter here. So I'm going to start with the throttle cable. This one goes to the engine. So I had a pin here which held that cable and it had a the cotter pin on the other side. I removed it. I went ahead and removed the pin for this side which is this. I had this pin up in here and removed this piece here. That just holds the cable down. I can take the cable out. So what I'm going to use is a funnel and I'll slide this funnel over the cable just down to this part and I'm going to tape it real good and then use gravity. Use gravity and fill this up with um, some croy oil to loosen it first. I mean, croy oil is great stuff. This loosens up everything. You can use this to clean your guns and all sorts of stuff. It's good stuff. So we use gravity to, to make the lubricant go all the way down the cable back to the engine and I'll move the cable back and forth. Right, I got the funnel slid on. I'm going to go down to about right there and then just tape it up. First put tape on here. Stretch it tight when I do it. Hopefully the oil doesn't seep through it. And we'll start putting oil in it. I'm going to spray a bunch of croy oil down in here. I'll fill this funnel up just a little bit. That's enough for now. And then down here on the engine, I'm going to move the throttle cable back and forth. Just keep doing that back and forth until I see the fluid coming down here. I'm going to move this back and forth. I put a towel down here to catch the lubricant. Move this back and forth until it makes its way down with gravity. I can feel it smoothing up already. Now I'm trying to trying something to speed up the process since it's being gravity fed right now. I'm going to put this bag around it and then try to make sure it's tight and kind of push the push the air down the cable see if it goes faster this way let's see oh yeah most of that liquid is gone now let's see now cycle the throttle cable and then uh, as soon as I see some of the Lubricant coming out down here. I know I've get, made it all the way. So you can either sit here, take your time, do this for, let it drain for a couple hours on gravity, or you can try taking a Ziploc bag, putting it over the funnel, and blowing the air through. I'm gonna do that a few more times and see if I can get it there quicker. As you can see on the video, if you can see this well enough, the oil is starting to come out onto the sock. 
So it's making its way down and that's probably, I think that was probably 15 minutes worth. Using that bag was helping uh, push the fluid through the cable using a Ziploc bag. So it's making its way down. All right, I took the funnel off and uh, it's pretty dang smooth. It did smooth it up. Maybe it'll last a few years like this. All right, so I'm gonna put the throttle cable back in, and then I will remove the shifting cable. We'll do that one next. So on the lower unit, I'm gonna I remove the cotter pin, and I'm removing the cable so I can slide it back and forth easier. So I can move it in and out. And then um, I'll go lube the other end. So I'm doing the same setup I did with the throttle cable I'm doing with the gear cable here. So the funnel, it's full of uh, coil oil. I'll let it drain down. I'll try the uh, Ziploc bag over the funnel again and uh, watch the fluid come out the lower unit there. Probably a better view of using the uh, bag. Squeeze the bag. Squeeze the air out of it. That's slowly pushing the fluid down. Take the bag up and start over. You won't believe how much this cable freed up. This one was uh, actually pretty stiff and this is smooth now. I mean, it's as smooth as can be. You can see the oil coming out of the, starting to come out of the hole now. So, yeah, this one really freed up good. Got the lower unit gear cable back on. Put this cover back on. Then I'll go back and put the uh, control box back together. All right, got the cable attached here. Pin with the cotter pin. Attached here with the pin and the cotter pin here. And now I'll put the, uh, put the board back up and we'll try it out. This project took about two hours overall, and the shifter is freed up. It was a lot stiffer than this. I don't know how long it's going to last, but uh, it's better than buying new cables and tearing the lower unit apart and all that. So this shifts pretty good now.